One, two, three, four. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. Today's video, we're going to demystify a few things in the blues guitar playing field, at least in most of the blues field. And you talk about things that you've listened to and heard throughout your guitar playing days, if you're just starting or if you've been playing a long time like me. And there's a few things that people always talked about that I used to think to myself, what are they talking about? You know, uh, dyads and triads and double stops. Oh my! Dyads and triads and double stops. Oh my! Anyway, we're going to talk about those today and we're going to demystify them in this little lesson. Now, as you folks know, when I've been doing these, you've been corralling me into doing these lessons and I do appreciate the suggestions, but before we do this, I'm going to give you my standard disclaimer. Please read it here. Right. I am not a guitar teacher, but you folks have been asking me and asking me, so I'm trying to give you a little bit of things that I've learned over the years to help you out a little bit, okay? And in that blues guitar type of uh, flavor, which is what I normally play. Okay, so before we get started today, uh, again, you've read the disclaimer, you realize what you're getting into. Now let's go through the security checks to make sure that you are who you say you are. And again, now, how many traffic lights do you see in this image? Okay, good. Now, security question number two, how many fingers am I holding up? Okay, very good. All right, now in security question number three, what is your cat's mother's maiden name? Okay, so we got all through those, and you are who you say you are, and I am who I say I am. So let's get down to it today. Okay, folks, now, before we do, grab yourself your guitar. Doesn't make a difference if it's acoustic or an electric, whatever guitar that you have. And let's demystify the dyads and triads and double stops. Oh my! Let's get to it. Wait, I gotta find a guitar to play here. So, uh, you get your guitar, let me see if I can find something to play, and we'll be right back. Everybody talks about double stops. Let's talk about double stops to begin with. Now, I always thought they were double stops and I never realized what they actually were. Truthfully double stops are not a big mystery at all. What they basically are is two notes played simultaneously. That's pretty much what a double stop is. It's two notes played simultaneously. So for instance folks if I take these two notes here two 
two A's, that's a double stop. That's a double stop. That's a double stop. That's a double stop with a bend. So it's two notes played simultaneously. A dyad is very similar to a double stop, and it pretty much is, except a dyad is two notes with a root in it and either a fifth or a seventh. Usually a fifth, but something like this. A two note chord. And if a dyad's a two note chord, then a triad is a three note chord. And most of your basic chords are triads. There are three notes. It's usually the root, the third, and the fifth that make up the chord, like a G, or an E minor, or C, or D. Yes, you're throwing the other strings in there, but those are usually repetitions of the root and or the other third or fifth that you're playing. So for instance, in a G, those three, these three, all together. But that's all the triad is, it's the three notes. So for instance, in a D shape, So I double stop two notes together simultaneously. My triad's three notes. And a dyad is two notes played together, kind of like a So I'm going to show you today one of my favorite double stop lead pieces that you can play in any key, really. And we're going to, today we're going to do it in A. Very similar to what I did in the front of this video to show you how to play that part. So this little piece basically starts on the B string on the 10th fret, which is, and then going to the E, which is on the G string 9th fret. Then I'm shifting down on the B string, so I'm going from the 10th to the 8th, and I'm, I'm keeping on the 9th with the G string. So, and then I'm shifting again, keeping that B string on the 8th, and then shifting that G string to the 7th. So we've got Then I'm going to play them both on the 7th, both the B and G strings. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I'm going to slide down with them both to that 5th. And then bend them. So. And you can do that little hammer on the D string. So it's a bend on the fifths on both B and G. Then on your D string, you're playing that A, G, A. Or you can drop down, play that E on the A string. And then you 
can finish that lick off however you want. Okay? So those are all double stops. <laughs> Right, folks so short video today hope that helped you out I do appreciate you stopping in the channel and all the subscribers thank you so so much if you're still on the fence about subscribing come on over to the good side would love to have you on board until next time folks as Jimmy Stewart saying so long take care of yourselves please stay safe please stay healthy and we'll talk to you all again very very soon there's a little outro using some of those double stops and dyads and triads oh my Bye-bye for now, folks. Mm -hmm.